Hello, and welcome to Mima Zone. I'm Mima. I'm a grandmother and a mother, and I have a book to read for you today. It's called The Ugly Dumpling. Okay. Oh, and let me tell you who wrote it. It's a story by Stephanie Campisi, and it's illustrated by Shahar Kober. The Ugly Dumpling. I wonder what it's about. I think it's about a dumpling. Here's a cool illustration, a cool picture. This is the chef making the dumplings. Have you ever had a dumpling? They're delicious. Once upon a time, perhaps last week, or even last night, at your local dim sum restaurant, there was an ugly dumpling. But all dumplings are ugly, you say. Which is a very good point, but this was not just any ugly dumpling like this one, or that one, or that one on the floor. This ugly dumpling was ugly in its own way. Hmm. No matter what it did, wrinkling its brow, standing up tall, wearing wearing pleated pants it was in a lonely only category of one uneaten and ignored until along came a cockroach there was silence, except for this, except for the, of the walk. Let me read that again. Until along came a cockroach. A cockroach. Do you know what a cockroach is? It's a big, ugly bug. There was silence, except for the, of the walk. Do you know what kind of sound a wok makes? Have you ever heard anything frying in the pan? It sounds a little bit like that. And the thwack of the cleaver. Have you ever heard a thwack? That's a great word, thwack of the cleaver. Here's a cleaver and it's cutting meat. So it goes down hard, thwack. And the whoosh of the cockroach's heart swelling with love. Here's the cockroach. And you could hear only the whoosh of the cockroach's heart swelling with love. Where's the story going? But the ugly dumpling noticed none of this. The cockroach wept for the ugly duckling. Wept means cried. Then it reached out an arm or a leg. I will show you the beauty of the world, it said. See the cockroach talking to the dumpling? And what did it say? The cockroach said, I will show you the beauty of the world. And it did. They went and did several things. They looked around the kitchen. They looked at the broccoli. They looked at the wok. They looked at ingredients. They looked at different things in the kitchen. And the way they're looking at it, 
it makes it look more interesting because this looks like it's a wok frying on a city. This looks like um, this is a pile of like flour or sugar, but it looks like the cockroach is skiing on it. And this is probably a chunk of, you know, what, I don't know, cheese or butter. And it looks like the pyramids in Egypt. So the cockroach showing the ugly dumpling the world. The ugly, dump, the ugly dumpling was on top of the world, the beautiful, beautiful world. But then, the ugly dumpling saw something. Another ugly dumpling. No, two, three, four, more. See all those ugly dumplings? There's a bunch of them. The ugly dumpling was not an ugly dumpling. It was not a dumpling at all all. Say what? It was a steamed bun. A golden hearted smooth skinned steamed bun. Exactly like all the other steamed buns in the world. Oh, there's a twist to this story. The ugly dumpling was overjoyed. It puffed with meaning. It puffed with importance and yeast. <laughs> yeast is what is inside of a dumpling to make it rise and make it get bigger. This time, the ugly dumpling was not ignored or overlooked. Cockroach! Cockroach? Cockroach? The other steamed buns were horrified, appalled. Usually people do not like to see cockroaches near their food. But then the ugly dumpling did something quite beautiful. It reached out an arm or a leg and it led the cockroach out into the world, the beautiful, beautiful world. Perhaps the ugly dumpling was not like the other, other steamed buns after all. And perhaps, and just perhaps, that was a good thing. See, they left and now they're friends and they're walking together. The end. Every dumpling needs a friend. Fun story of the ugly dumpling. I hope you liked it by Stephanie Campisi and illustrated by Shahar Kober or Cobert, depends on what accent you're using. So I hope you really enjoyed that, The Ugly Dumpling, and um, you know, everybody does need a friend, right? So I hope that you will be a friend to somebody and that somebody will be a friend to you and you can have a friend and they can have a friend because I know you will make a very good friend. I would like you to be my friend. Can we be friends? Awesome. Okay, that's great, I like that. And remember that this friend right here, Mima, always loves you. I love you. And I hope we can get together again soon. Okay, until then, bye-bye.